Well, actually, it all started with um, a Facebook message <laughs> 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 from Damien Wetzel and you know, Heather Watts. Mm -hmm. But um, before then, it was uh, um, I performed in um, I performed in, in Memphis, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. For a uh, new ballet ensemble in school, it's a ballet uh, school that's ran by um, the artistic director Katie Smythe, uh -huh. and we did a show in, in Arkansas for a, for a bunch of kids, you know, and um, she wanted me to tr just try something different. She wanted me to just jump to like <laughs> classical music. She put a CD in, and we listened to it on the way to the to the, to the, to the show. Actually, it was my first time listening, and uh, it was um, Camille Saint's uh, Swan. Uh -huh. So um, I was like, okay, if I hear it once, I can get it. <laughs> She played it, and I got there, and we, I performed, and it was beautiful. And next thing you know, Damien and Heather uh, end up seeing it on YouTube, and they was just like, "Oh my God, this is amazing!" And um, during that time, they were working with Yo-Yo, with the you know President's Committee on the Arts mm -hmm. and Humanity, and um, it got around to Yo-Yo, and they, I guess they started talking and brewing up something, and they just reached out to me on through Facebook. They found me through Facebook, excuse me, and um, they were just asking, "Hey, do you uh, have you, do you know Yo-Yo Ma?" And I was like, "No, really." <laughs> Keep going. And then, <laughs> they were like, yeah, so we, we want to, you know, they were saying they want to work with me and yeah. introduce me to Yo-Yo. So I met Yo-Yo at the Walt Disney Hall in Los Angeles. He had a concert there, and um, we first met. It was cool. He was pretty, very warm, loving guy, and the words were very short. If you if you could imagine um, Yo-Yo actually approaching me and saying, are you Little Buck? And I'm saying, <laughs> yes, I'm Little Buck. And then we just gave each other a hug. He was like, it's so good to meet you. And after that, he didn't say anything else. He just said, I want to I want to try something. And he brought the cello out. And no other words. He just said, I want wow. to try something. And he just undid the cello and just started playing. He didn't say a word. He just started playing. And I was like, this, this, are you kidding me, this guy? And I just, <laughs> without a second thought, I just started moving. And we just created magic right there. Right wow. before me and him were supposed to even perform. It was like... Right on site. The first time. First time meeting. Like wow. it wasn't even a show. It was just he wanted to It was meant to, see. to be. Because uh, Memphis Jukin was actually, um, it's it's actually um, originally done to the Memphis Sound rap, like Memphis Sound rap, like rap music from Memphis, Tennessee, by artists like DJ Squeaky and Three Six Mafia and all these artists hmm. like that. And um, it was never really done outside of that genre, you know, outside of that rap. R&B genre, and um, you know, I, I was like, hey, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just like to dance to music I really, you know, I love listening to, yeah. and I like all music, like, I, I just have that uniqueness about me, I just like listening to classical, yeah. country a little bit, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, contemporary music, all kind of music, you know, alternative.